want to, you know, see that Indian American succeeding more than you are. Remarkable. And uh, she is a delight. I mean, she, she's absolutely a delight. I mean, the, the, the wonderful thing about Hillary Clinton is she is, number one, the worst candidate in American history, bar none. And she demonstrates that every day. She's blaming everybody but herself for uh, an election loss that was entirely her fault. I mean, this is the most winnable election of all time for Democrats, and somehow they blow it because Hillary Clinton is doing exactly this, right? She's blaming half the American population and suggesting that they're a bunch of rubes who have to still go to bathroom in the outhouse and that they hate brown people. And by the way, there are only two states in the United States that have had Indian American governors, uh, and both of those states are red states that voted for Donald Trump, South Great Carolina point. and Louisiana, right? Nikki Haley is sitting uh, in the U.N. right now as ambassador from the United States, an Indian American woman in the Trump administration. So I I'm waiting to hear her actual argument again, as opposed to everybody who voted for me, uh, voted against me is terrible, and everybody who voted for me is therefore virtuous. Uh, by the way, that wasn't even the worst argument she made. The worst argument she made is that white women who are yeah. married voted against her because their husbands were going to bully them or bring home the whooping stick and tell mm -hmm. old Marge that she better get out there and vote for <laughs> Trump. I mean, that, that, was, that was the most ridiculous that, argument. That was a doozy. In fact, you know, I, I want to show one, uh, you've been getting a lot of messages. I've been getting a lot of messages about that one because we played it last night. Jennifer Kirst uh, tweeted this. I voted for him because I believed in him. I knew he was our country's last best hope. I have three children and I knew we were headed in the wrong direction. My husband lost faith in him before the election and didn't believe he could win. I'm the one who said, watch. And I was right. I have, you know, probably 50 uh, messages like that in my Twitter account, Ben. Again, for all of the feminists out there who say that women are fully capable of making autonomous decisions, I ask you, why are you not condemning Hillary Clinton today for suggesting the married women are not capable of making those autonomous decisions? By the way, statistically speaking, none of this makes sense. The reality is the reason why married people tend to vote Republican more often than non-married people is because married people are a self-selected group who tend to be more conservative and tend to be more religious, number one. And number two, marriage does change you because now you have to start thinking about kids, you have to start thinking about how much money you want to save on taxes, you have to start thinking about where you send your kids to school. And it is true that marriage changes voting for both sexes. In fact, in the 2016 election cycle, what you see is that unmarried men voted by plurality yeah. for Hillary Clinton. It was married men who voted overwhelmingly for Donald Trump. And the same thing is true for unmarried women. They voted overwhelmingly for Hillary Clinton. And married women, not just white married women, married women overall voted much more close to parity in terms of Trump and Hillary. There's about a 14-point mm -hmm. shift on marriage you know, between Democrat and Republican for women and about an 11-point shift after marriage for men. So it holds true for both sexes. Ben, thank you. Always good to see you. Ben Shapiro, thanks for being thanks here. Thanks a lot.